guys and welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to show you a little flip through of my three art journals from my art therapy course. Now I've just finished my first trimester and I thought you guys might like to see what's inside and what I've been doing for the last three months. It's been so intense and because of COVID we've been doing our course online via Zoom. So it's just such a different world because not only do we have to learn about ourselves and what like understand our triggers and self-care and all that but we also have to hold space for another person virtually and that's been really hard in breakout rooms when someone has been feeling emotional or discussing something really meaningful or intense that happened throughout their lives and you're behind this screen so it's been a completely different experience to try to be there for someone when we've been doing it all virtually. So it's been, yeah, as I said, very intense and there's been lots of emotions, lots of really great discussions about what it is to be an art therapist and um, really understanding because we need to know what our own triggers are, what our like self-care is, how to hold space because you can't be an art therapist and be triggered by what someone else is saying because you need to be there for them. So it's been really interesting to learn that process of what it is to be a really great art therapist and actually d diving into your own um, experiences through life and, and what made you basically, what's what, what makes up yourself and what makes up your experiences and um, things like your natural attitude is something we learnt. So it's basically understanding how you can be biased to other people. So it might be based on religion bias or cultural bias or class bias and basically we need to try to have a blank canvas when we um, start talking to new clients and looking at their life and their experiences through this um, complete like blank canvas view. So you're not bringing your own experiences and putting it on them. You're just looking at their experiences completely um, without any bias and just trying to get them to explore what they need to in order to cope or move forward. Does that make sense? <laughs> um, I hope so. I hope that all made sense. But yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip through these three journals. Um, there's a lot of art in these. Um, I'm going to be talking about things that may be sensitive to some people. So just a little disclaimer at the start here. But I am going to skip through a few pages that I don't want to be sharing online publicly just because... Um, yeah, there's been a lot of growth and a lot of challenges that have come up through the last three months. So let's dive into it. I'll show you what's inside my art journals. So the first subject was qualities of art making and media. I created this little cover page. In my first tutorial, they asked us, how does your body feel? And they also asked us, what do you know now? So what do we know at the start of this journey? We started speaking about art materials, art making, art and the body, and we were asked to draw a picture of ourselves and how we feel. So here is a figure at the bottom with the arms wide open, ready and open for the course. I've got my head tilted back looking up at these sunflowers representing the sun and all of these lines and dot lines that are all meshing together. This was me representing how I felt at this time and it was this openness to learn. We were then talking about unconventional art materials. So this is when I went out one day and picked some wildflowers around my neighbourhood. Our next lecture was about what is art? We discussed the intention behind the artist, line, subject matter, composition, capturing a moment. We also discussed, is it the intention of the artist or is it yourself that you portray onto the image? So this was a really interesting lecture. There was conversations about these blurred boundaries, our lived experiences and how much of ourselves do we put onto the artwork? 
And then we started talking about meetings behind artwork. It was really, really interesting. So the next week we had another tute and then we were asked simply to draw how we felt. So I think we had around 20 minutes in the morning just to start drawing. I got some oil pastels out and I was quite tired that day. So you can see the blue bags under my eyes. I'm yawning and this like green line up here is, is like a representation of me wanting to soak in this sunlight and this nature. And I drew these like raw natural colours down here because I really felt like I needed to get outdoors and soak up some, um, yeah, nature. <laughs> Um, this was a bit of an interesting one, so I'm going to flip this page to this one while I talk about the previous page. So, I wanted to jot down how I was feeling and I really felt like I didn't know how to connect well with my feelings and what would come up and I was getting a bit of anxiety around how to deal with feelings and emotions. So, this is sort of where this page came about in the last page. I sort of just started doing patterns and colours and sort of representing all the feelings that one person has and as you can see my handprint here then got smudged onto the other page and I don't know this was sort of just like an abstract um, version of how I was feeling very it's very colourful and my brain was everywhere that day but yeah I was just going through a lot of different emotions and understanding that art therapy you're going to go through a lot of emotions and feel a lot of emotions. Now this page was very fun. I started out drawing this colourful mandala and then at the end of the course we had to do like a, a presentation about art materials and our dialogue and I ended up starting doing these like dots all over the page and then I just started splattering all this paint everywhere and it was so much fun. I got my fingers in there and I started just like messing around with the paint and yeah, it was like a really expressive presentation. Um, so we picked an artist, an artwork, we drew in our own interpretation of that artwork and then we also had to explain it and then the person who was viewing our artwork then wrote a poem. So my partner then wrote, she sees an all-knowing eye, a heavy tight pressure in her chest, but it's not a bad thing. Craves to know what's on the other side. A journey through the blackness reveals her lifelines. So I was basically describing this artwork that I created and my interpretation of the original artwork. And that was, this, the my partner basically took all the words that I said, the key words, and created a, um, yeah, a poem. And then I created a poem for her, but it's kind of... There's lots of prints on top of it, but basically my poem for her was Free yourself from the rigid lines, a warm, calm embrace, the dirt beneath your toes. You take the first step from your parked hips, flex out and grab what's next. Yeah, really interesting. We then messed around with a lot of different art mediums. So this was paint. And this one was really, really interesting. So I'm going to show you a picture from another um, journal. And I want you guys to see if you can see any similarities between them. This picture, I didn't realise what I was drawing until I saw this other image. So basically, I'll show you this one here. So these two, when I saw them by side by side, I was realizing that there was a lot of unconscious things going on. It was more so relating with connections. The circles were the people in my life and these lines and like the motion of things connecting with their finger drawings here and the circular motion of the oil pastels here was this connection of losing people and gaining new people. I did a whole journal on, I mean a whole, um, yeah, written journaling on the other side but I didn't actually realize what I was creating until I started analyzing it a little bit later so it's really interesting to see what art means once you start analyzing it again I just went and picked some more wild flowers this one was quite an interesting one it was more around 
our task was to draw something and we started analyzing that this was more so me longing and loving that I'm closer to family and being back home. It's very childish, but it means a lot to me. And then finally, I did a collage at the end of the course and I summarized what I wanted to become, how I felt I was developing and it was my present moment, my lived, um, living mindfully, lived experiences, everything sort of combined throughout this collage. So this was a representation of everything that I was coming and wanting to be and my style coming together and stuff like that. So yeah, that was a bit of a summary of qualities of art making and media. So next is foundations in art psychotherapy. Now, this one I'll only show you a few pages just because there are some things in here that I want to cover. So when I get to those pages, I will have a little postcard covering a few things. But first of all, I got a bit creative with my title page. Started with some beautiful paint splattering everywhere. We first um, dived into what this course was all going to be about building this safe environment for us to express ourselves. So I wrote some words that we spoke about. So respect, support, positive, here and now, listening. So this was, yeah, a really nice tutorial of just seeing, like building this group and this safe environment. We then like went into this a little bit more, discussing how we felt now, discussing how we felt towards the group discussing a few of the terminology that we'll be using and then discussing what a reflective journal looks like. So this page was all about drawing our safe place. Now I've just covered the writing up just because it's a bit personal, but basically it's all about what our safe place looks like, what do we picture when we need to get to back to our safe place, just because there's going to be a lot of things that we're discussing that might trigger us in certain ways. So this was just that image of what my safe place looks like. So next I've covered up another little area on this page just because I don't want you to see everything. <laughs> just because a lot of this is um, new things that I've been exploring that I'm not ready to share as I said at the start. But basically we drew our hero's journey. So where we are now, which is this little space down here, and then where we want to get to, which is up here. So I drew this whole like journey. It's not professionally drawn or anything like that but it was more just like scribbling down all the ideas and things that we wanted to to eventually get through um yeah our path our journey on this course throughout this course again I did another watercolor painting just to show my emotional state I really love this like abstract art I'm not going to dive into these two works here but we we're exploring um yeah I was exploring some things that came up from childhood, some habits that I had, and also how to cope and manage stress. We then had to describe lived experience, multi-sensory experience, and just rich description, um, and then also make a collage that represented what these terms meant. I know this page looks a bit messy and stupid, but we listened to music and we had to draw what we heard. So that's why this looks like completely random, but these big strokes were like the big bass line of the music, the twirls were just like the more um, calmer version. It was really, really fun just to draw what you heard. It was really interesting. So we did this really interesting activity where we had to stare into someone's eyes without talking and we weren't allowed to look at the piece of paper. So we drew a line drawing of this person without looking at the page. That's why this person looks so weird. <laughs> but it was really powerful just to stare at someone without speaking. And we discovered that there's so many bias when people start speaking. You start trying to form an image of what this person is. But when you look into someone and you have... You try to like cut down all of those bias or all of those judgments. You can really see the person for just truly who they are. I loved this activity. So this was the image that actually wrapped up our course. It's so interesting because this figure here was actually similar to this one I drew here. So this was the start of the journey. And then this one here was the end of the journey. And it kind of looks the same person having their arms open and 
the light shining down. So this is just an abstract image of how I was feeling. But yeah, that's a little overview of that subject. So the last subject that I did in my first trimester was the health and well-being subject. I did a lot of writing. So this book is mainly um, a lot of terms and basically notes from our lectures. I did a few um, collages as well, for like my little title pages. Again, just lots of notes, information about like our nervous system. This one though was very powerful. I was really, really caught up with not having the exact dates for the course and how that brought around stress, anxiety, and I really dove into this image with a lot of different textures and colours and paints and although it doesn't look like much when you look at it just like without knowing the context behind it but this was sort of me trying to figure out a few things about my own way of dealing with um it's really hard to explain out loud <laughs> But basically it was, yeah, my own habits that I get into and the way how I deal with things. It's, yeah, it goes a lot deeper than that, but it's just a glimpse into what I was exploring that day. <laughs> this was a really fun activity. So we drew lines going down and lines going across. I did more of like these wavy lines and we listened to music and we just doodled so we just drew like scribbles all over the page and it puts you in a completely different headspace it was a really great activity to show how music and just drawing without thinking can change your mood completely this was a really interesting and fun um yeah activity to learn i'm going to cover up this page about stress but the saying next to it was something that stuck with me throughout this whole trimester so Whatever happens, I can handle it. And I want to look back on this page and think, yes, this is something that I want to live by. Come waters. I actually can't remember what this page was about. Um, nope, no clue. Again, some more just note taking. Note taking about stress, relationships. Oh, okay. This was a powerful tutorial. I sat there one day and actually drew the exact feelings my body felt when I encountered a stressful situation. I actually drew that the first thing that happens is my heart starts pounding, my hands start to shape, I get a lump in my throat, and I went through the whole process and I just wrote it down. Although at the end I was feeling quite emotional, and I drew this sort of really emotional image here as you can see, I wrote at the end that I believe in myself and I can get through this. So it really helped to write down first how stress in my body felt and then what I can do to get out of that. So I wrote down next to it, noticing that I'm feeling stressed, breathing in and out, picturing light around my body, stretching, opening my chest and smiling. So that built up energy inside of my chest tightening releases. So this was a really interesting exercise. It looks a bit messy on page, but yeah, this was a very powerful for me. I haven't finished this journal off yet. As you can see, I've still got a lot of notes here and a few activities that I need to add in. But yeah, this course has been really powerful. I hope you guys enjoyed that flip through. If you want me to make another video about what it's like to be an art student, I can. If you've got any other questions, let me know in the comments. But yeah, that was my first trimester and what I've been doing for the last three months. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.